Welcome back to the channel and today we are continuing our trail makers campaign with our brand new amazingly upgraded biplane that now has bomber capabilities as you can see in the last episode I unlocked new wing pieces and control surfaces and it has made this thing so much more controllable agile and stable like it flies exactly how I always wanted it to fly when I first designed it and uh, I am so happy with it so I'm just uh, doing a little bit of a warm up here, taking out these fighters, and I'm feeling really good about that. So we're gonna be moving on in that direction very, very soon, but I'm just realizing that I forgot to actually get uh, the rest of the parts in this area. I can see there's a chest right here. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Dang it, I was really hoping I was gonna get the part out of the chest before I died. Right, I've activated my landing flap so I have more lift and move a little bit flo uh, slower. <laughs> A little bit flower kind of still applies and there we go we have an and logic gate finally but i think i'm actually gonna swap over to my airship well look at this cave we have in here there's the chest i was looking for it couldn't see oh there's two chests here fantastic i'm just gonna land and walk over to them instead of wedging my uh, aircraft in there all right what do we got now long helicopter blade and short helicopter blade. We have two new helicopter blades. Wait, are they actually, are they both new helicopter blades or was the normal one renamed to short? Oh, okay, so we have helicopter blade. Here's the size differences between these parts. So there's helicopter blade. Here is short helicopter blade. Okay, interesting. And then here is long helicopter blade. Big difference. Yeah, let's actually all put them at the same starting point. So short and regular, not a huge difference, but the long one is a massive difference. And that was one of the big things that uh, I feel like the game was missing was a long helicopter blade because the size that we were building helicopters the normal blades just looked really, really stubby. So I'm really happy that we, we're gonna have a little bit more of a proportional blade to use for those helicopters. All right, now somewhere over in here is another chest. I'm using my biplane so I can just cover more area more quickly and looking for it. Um, I don't think it's these, I already got those. Oh, there it is down there. All right, I see. All right, what is it gonna be? Altitude sensor maybe? Oh, I called that. I so called that. All right, let's get out of here. Transition back into biplane. Yeah, the transform mode is so nice. Oh, here we go. There's a little cave in here. All right. Right over here, maybe. Oh, look at that landing in here, too. Where is it, though? Ah! Okay, there it is. Hop out. Oh, that guy's dropping bombs. Oh, we got two. What are these ones going to be? Tailgate version or tail light version 2 and headlamp version 2. Okay. I really like these landing flaps are helping me slow down and glide a lot better. Look at that. Look at that angle sensor. Ooh, we may be able to actually use that for some stuff. And look at that. Even getting this with my plane, I'm surprised that I'm able to do this. All right, I don't see any more treasure icons. There's a power core icon over there, but honestly, I, I'm I'm not running low on power cores, so I think it's time now. We got all the treasure in that area. Let's head over to the new area and see what's gonna be in store for us. All right, this might be related to what we're about to do over here. Entering ancient dunes, danger level high. All right, here's the town too. Where's your runway? Do you guys have a runway? That's the runway all the way out there. All right, I'm gonna try to actually use the runway. All right, ready? Landing flaps have been activated. Coming in for the landing. These landing flaps are like amazing. And there we go, perfect landing. Very satisfied. Here, let's actually transform into the car now. All right. Hey, this time I met the mayor without uh, starting a quest accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. I'm Mr. Crisp, looking crisp too. The mayor of this modest town. It is a pretty small town compared to what we've been at. Uh, it's about time you paid us a visit. These pirates have hunkered down in the desert with their clunky factories. Oh, this is a factory, not a prison. Total eyesore, to be honest. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what this is about. Rescue the Chirpos. So it looks like this one has uh, AA. Those blasted flat cannons have shot down some of my best pals. They're stuck on a rock near the bridge. I would appreciate if you could go pick them up. All right, well, let's get this loot first. And don't get shot down by that flak too. Large cockpit, ooh, that's a that's a new one as well. All right, let's uh, transition to biplane mode. 
So the flat cannons, I I don't know for sure, but the way they look, they might be uh, immune to bullets, like the buildings are, and they might be uh, they might be bomber only. But let's do a, a quick pass by with guns and just see what happens. Wait, is he not gonna? Oh yep, yep. Projectiles will not do any good, so it is time to do some bombing on a much smaller target than the buildings. That's for sure. All right, here we go. This is where lining up is going to be very, very important. I'm not doing a very good job of it right now, but... Nailed it! First run, too. Alright. Landing flaps activated. And there we go. I am loving this biplane so much right now. I'm actually going to transition to my vehicle because there's a treasure chest over here. It's just going to be easier to get it on a land vehicle. What is this going to be? Piston? Okay. Are you guys ready? You better not be... Wait, this looks like more than 16. Is this actually more than 16? This is actually more. All right, I gotta. How many seats do I need? One, two, three, four. 24? I only have. Well, I, well, I have 16. Pa I need 24? What are you doing to me? Do you have any idea how hard it is to balance this thing? All right, well, 24 seats it is. All right, there we go. I got 24 seats. Am I capable of getting off the ground with this one now? Okay, good. And it looks like I'm still pretty well balanced. I think I'm gonna take a nap while you take me home. All right, oh, that doesn't really matter to me. Hope these seats are comfortable enough for you. You know, I should really add some more thrust to this thing. I haven't added any more power cores to this in a while. I'm feeling very, very slow right now. All right, there we go. Extremely good aerodynamics unlocked. That is extremely good. What else do you got for me? Heavy rain, get to the pirate base. I think it's time we took care of that dull looking pirate factory out in the desert. Could you drop a few bombs on that whole situation? Just that whole situation over there. Can you just bomb it? Remember to take out the shield generators before you try to pop the factory. All right, I'm really enjoying the bombing missions. All right, pirate factory, here I come. All right, I'm gonna take out the aircraft first, or there's also the turrets. I think actually the turrets are a bigger threat to me than the aircraft. So I'm gonna go after this turret. Here we go. Nailed that. All right, there's this one over here. Uh-oh. Oh, I, didn't, I couldn't line up in time. All right, this is actually gonna be kind of tough. The AA is tracking me. I can see the tracking happening. I think that's the only other AA. Oh, I'm gonna turn away from that. There we go. Okay, evasive maneuvers were successful. Oh, yes! This is so fun. All right, I think the AA threat is gone. Now I can focus on the fighter planes. There's one. All right, he's down. That was easy. Weren't there more? Is that my shadow? There's another shadow there. Oh, there they are. They're coming straight at me. All right, here we go. All right, another two down. One pass with both of them. All right, now... That one's down. This is going great. Need to wait for my bombs to recharge. Make sure the shield generators don't get damaged. Too bad. You don't have anybody on your side anymore. Another one down. There's one shield generator remaining. All right. I felt like I did really well here. There we go. The shield is down. Oh, there's another AA. I didn't even notice. There's an AA on top of the factory. All right. Well, I mean, two for one here. Can aim at the AA and damage the factory at the same time. All right, wow. I didn't expect that to be a one pass. I thought that was gonna take a couple of tries. Maybe the explosion of the AA uh, gun actually also added to the damage of the factory. I'm not sure. Wait, they're saying there's another treasure chest over here somewhere. Where's this treasure chest? Sorry, Chirpos, I'll be right back. I'll be right back be there in a second. Underneath, oh. Can I do a flyby, do you think? All right, stunt flying scrap man activated. Dang it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Drag racing wheel unlocked, yay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I didn't get it. All right, don't worry, Chirpos, just a minor setback. 
Just a little bit of death is all. I'm back though. All right, clear the runway. Incoming. There we go. Don't worry, don't worry, I got you, I got you. All right, you know, before I get these chirpos on here, I'm actually going to modify this so we have a little bit more thrust now. All right, how's this feel? It's actually not feeling too bad. All right, let's see how our speed is now. All right, come on, go up. Oh, this is actually kind of feeling bad now. Is it? I don't know. It's it's really, it, this is a tough balancing act with the balloons. But we are much faster now with the, with the added thrust. So uh, we should be there in no time, Chirpos. All right, we're coming in fast. We're coming in fast. There we go, Dragon Jet unlocked, yeah. I mean, my biplane kind of works really well with the propellers. I'm not inclined to add a Dragon Jet to it, to be honest. All right, destroy the pirate base. So now I have to get to the pirate base. Oh my gork. Another pirate factory has popped up on the radar. It's all the way at the other end of the desert. Since you're such an excellent bomb pilot, could you go and take care of it for me? No problem. I will be happy. If you want anything to be bombed, I will be happy to bomb it. Take out the shield generators first. All right, sounds like a routine bombing mission. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. It, oh, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm sure nothing can go wrong. Let's go. I think I'm already seeing an AA turret or two. I'm just gonna get this guy on my way in here. And some planes. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, did I miss? All right, I got it. And I, I took some damage though. All right, let's get this one next. If I can. Yes, I thought I was gonna miss that one for a second. All right, let's turn around. Bomb this since I'm right here. Nailed that. Can I line up with this guy in time? Looking good. Oh, I think I went too late. No, I got him. All right, flawless run so far. I am a little bit damaged. Let's go after this one now. Nice. Oh, they're sticking the uh, the shield things. The shield generators are actually shooting as well. They have guns. Uh oh, I got. Some, some planes are starting to tail me a little bit. Don't want to let them get behind me. They're banking. Ooh, ooh, they got some hits. These guys seem like they're a little bit more agile than normal. Is that just me? Yeah, they seem to be uh, pulling some steeper maneuvers than I'm used to. These are your best pilots, huh? There we go, that guy's down. All right, I'm actually not gonna take out that last shield generator because there might be another AA hiding in there. Uh-oh, didn't get a good lineup on that guy. But oh, man, yeah, these guys are way more agile. All right, he's just flying upside down, show off. You know, I might be able to do that too. All right, he's not faster than me though, I'm catching up with him. What are you doing? Oh wow, he's taking evasive maneuvers. And he's down. There we go, okay. Now one more, one more shield generator here. All right, no problem. Shield is down. There's two AA turrets on there. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're starting to take aim too. Oh yeah, they're shooting. Pull up, there we go. Okay, I should have pulled up a little bit more. Uh oh man, they're, they're really trying to predict my trajectory. Okay, here we go. All right, threw some bombs and they are done. I really, I thought those buildings would be more powerful. The first building I had to bomb, I had to do like five passes. All right, do you think I can pick that up without dying? The uh, treasure, I'm gonna try to, ooh, another, there's another one here too. I'm gonna try to do a flyby treasure pickup. Yeah, I did it, did it without dying. All right, the other one actually should be even easier because there's less land around it. Just kind of poking up there and yeah, motorcycle seat. All right, large hinge and motorcycle seat. All right, activating my landing flaps. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Oh, there we go. That actually worked out pretty well. Motorcycle wheel, good. What else? We got a power core over here. Oh, on top of this uh, peak. Are you serious? I missed that? Oh, I thought I was gonna have that. All right, here we go. Ho oh, ho, I can hear, I heard my tires screech across the top of that peak there and it like didn't even affect my trajectory. It was just that close of a skim. 
That was pretty epic. All right, uh, now to pick up the chirpos. All right, never mind the smoking coming from the plane, chirpos. Uh, promise everything is in working order, and this isn't gonna be what I'm taking home with anyway. All right, there we go. Wasn't my best landing. Hop on in, everybody. There we go. These seats are extremely comfortable. Well, I'm glad. Oh, I, I, is that the same thing that you said last time? I missed the seats are comfortable part, because I think I said I hope the seats are comfortable. That's kind of funny, but that's exactly what they said before then. All right, back home we go. All right, here I come. Here we go, wicked. I like the look of those pirate bases much better now that they are toast. This ancient slice belongs to you now. How many more slices we got? Crisp aerator, that looks cool. Rocket launcher, oh, I forgot that rocket launchers were a thing. Oh, big elevator fin, oh, the rocket launcher block. Oh, this is good. I'm actually looking, can I add that to my biplane without ruining it? It's much more practical than dropping bombs and I just hope that you eradicate more of those boring pirates. Here is what, it, you know what, let's just, look, let's just look at what this looks like. I'm curious about this. All right, this thing's got dragon engines, it's got rocket launchers. Whoa, look at those wings. This is actually a really cool looking plane. So there's a rocket launcher. This is a really strange plane too. Look, we got wings under here too. These flap wings. We got these big elevator fins in the back. All right, but I just got to improve my biplane here. I'm so happy with this biplane that I'm just really inclined to make this thing that much better. All right, let me see if I can add rocket launchers to this thing. Do you think adding them like right here would be good? How heavy are they? They're only 4.4 kilograms. I feel like that doesn't mess me up that much. I'm gonna still have the bombs on here, but I'm gonna swap their controls from E to X. So X is gonna be to drop bombs, and my rocket launchers are going to be E, just like that. All right, let's see if this thing still flies as, uh, as intended. All right, there we go. We're in the air. This actually does still feel pretty nice. I might want to add just a little bit more thrust, some, uh, just some assistance thrust to get some more. I'm already going like 230, like I still have a decent amount of thrust here. All right, I got to test out the rocket launchers though. I have to test out the rocket launchers. All right, so to test out the missiles, I have teleported back to the hoodoos, uh, because I know that there's some planes that are just hanging out here. So let's see how these missiles perform. Okay. <laughs> you definitely, the missiles are not, uh, you, you don't, do not want to use them from very far away. Like that, oh, oh, okay. This is actually harder to do than I thought. It might be better for uh, a stationary target. I think it actually says in the description that it's better for stationary targets. Um, I'm just getting shot up right now too. All right, man, these, these planes. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I got him. There we are. All right, I'm gonna lose a wing here, which I think will be kind of cool. I'm not performing as well because I'm avoiding using my actual, like my weapon rebuilt for this stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, he pulled away at the last second. Come on. Oh, look at that. Even my windshield is cracked. Okay, where are these guys? They're behind me, apparently. All right, you know what? Let me try it on the big balloon here. I think stationary objects are just going to be better. There we go. Does it kill it one shot? Does half damage. All right, not bad. Oh, I'm losing, I'm losing stuff. I can still fly, though. This is the most damage I've ever been. All right, let's do another pass. Another pass with the missiles. Come on, lock on. Oh, there we go. The missiles got him. I was I, I was trying having trouble locking on to just him. There were so many other things around. All right, I got to repair now. There we go. Oh boy, I'm taking more damage. Oh yeah, so the missiles not so great for air combat, but really good from uh, air to surface combat. So I'll be definitely using them against the AA stuff. These guys, the missiles can lock on no problem. And then one final missile barrage. There we go. Missiles are really awesome. Okay, so in the next episode, we're gonna be heading off in that direction to the center of the map, which I think things are gonna probably start getting pretty hairy over there. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.